Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a sticky navbar which has a different appearance or a styling when you scroll down. So this is what we're going to design. We can see that we have this uh, navigation bar over here. We have this logo and these uh, menu items. And when we scroll down, we can see we have a different appearance for the navbar. And when we scroll back up, we have the default appearance. So this is what we're going to design in this video. So let's get started. Alright, so I have created this folder called sticky navbar and I just opened it with VS code. So this is the code editor that we're going to use. So first of all, let's go ahead and create some files. By the way, I also have a folder called images and in that we have this image over here. So let's create all the necessary files. So I'll just click on new file and I'll just create a file called index.html and we also need a CSS file. So I'll just create a new file and we'll just name it style.css and we'll create one more file and I will just name it main.js. So we have these three files over here, the HTML file, the CSS file and the JavaScript file. Now let's start with the index.html file and uh, in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press uh, exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML file code. Now let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and we'll also link our uh, JavaScript file over here in the body so I'll just type script colon src and press tab and in the src we'll just type main.js Right now let's start with the markup of our design. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll create the navbar. So for that we will use the header tag in HTML5. So let's type header and we'll also give it a class and we'll just give it a class of sticky navbar. Right now in the header we will create a nav element to hold the navigation menu. So I'll just type nav and in that we'll have a division for the logo and then we'll have an unordered list for all the menu items. So let's create a division with the class of logo and here I'll just type test. You can go ahead and add an image over here if you want as a logo but for now we'll just have this text over here and here we'll create an unordered list and in that we'll have some list items and in that we'll have the anchor tag. So the first one we'll just add about and I'll just copy this and paste it a couple more times. Right, for the second one we will have the text as contact and then we'll have services and then we'll have downloads. Right now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server in VS Code. So just go ahead and search for live server over here and install it. And once you do that you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. Alright so here we have the header. Now let's go ahead and create some other elements in our website so that uh, we can test the scrolling animation. So we'll just create a section and we'll just give it a class of hero and in this we'll just have an h1 and I'll just type vr and then we'll create a couple of sections and uh, we'll just add some random text over here. So in VS Code you also have this option where you can just type lorem and type the number of words so I'll just type 40 and press tab and here we have some random text displayed over here. I'll just copy this paragraph and paste it a couple more times. And let's just copy this whole section from here and uh, we'll paste it a couple more times. Alright, so we have all this content over here and uh, now let's go ahead and start with the styling. So let's go to our style.css file. Now first of all let's style all the other elements and then we will style the header and then after that we will add some JavaScript to make the scrolling animation. So first of all let's go ahead and add some styles to the body. So I'll just type font family and we'll set it to Roboto. And I'll also remove all the default margin. Right now let's style all the sections. So I'll just type section. And for all the sections we will have a padding of 100 pixels top and bottom. And uh, for left and right we will just have a padding of 32 pixels. Now let's add some styling to all the paragraph in the section. So I'll just type section P. And I will just set a line height of 2. And we'll also give it a maximum width of 900 pixels. And uh, then we'll also have a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom. And for left and right we'll just type auto so that it'll be in the center. Right now let's add a slight different styling for each of the alternate sections. So for the first section we will have this white background color and uh, this dark text. 
and for the second section we will have a dark background color and a white text so for that let's type section and I will type colon nth of type and here we have to type 2n minus 1 now this will select all the alternate sections in our website so let's go ahead and set a background color of 242424 and we'll set the color of the text to white All right now we can see that when we scroll down we have a different styling for this section right here and we have different styling for alternate sections All right now let's style the hero section so here we can see in the HTML for the first section we have this class of hero so let's select that over here so I'll just type section dot hero and we'll set a height of 100 viewport height which is the 100% height of the screen and let's bring this heading to the center so here I'll just type display of flex and align items to the center so now it is in the center of the screen now for the hero section we will set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we will have 100 pixels of padding and now we can see that we have 0 padding at top and bottom and the height of the hero section is the height of the screen right now we have this header over here at the top that's why we can see that it goes past this uh, screen height it will be fixed when we style this header All right, let's continue styling the hero section so let's add a background color so I'll just type background image and we'll set it to a URL and here I'll just type images slash hero image dot jpg so this is the image that we have here in this folder images here we can see we have this hero image dot jpg right now let's set the background size and uh, we will set it to cover and we'll also set a background position and we'll set it to center right now let's style the h1 inside the hero section so I'll just type section dot hero h1 and first of all let's set the color of the text to red and we'll set the font size to 160 pixels and we'll set the font weight to 800 and uh, let's move it to the right side so I'll just type text align and we'll set it to right and we also have to set the width to 100% and uh, we can see that it is being styled correctly and if you scroll down we have all the other sections styled correctly all right now let's go ahead and start with styling the header which is the navbar so I'll just add a comment over here so I'll just type navbar now the first thing we will do is uh, we'll target the header and we'll set the position to fixed so now even if you scroll down it will always be at the same position all right so let's also set the top position to zero and right now we don't have a hundred percent width for this header so I'll just give it a background color we can see that it doesn't have a hundred percent width so for that we have to type left to zero and right to zero so now it extends the whole screen so let me just remove this background color All right now let's give it a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and uh, 0 pixels left and right and now let's style the nav inside the header so here we can see inside the header we have this nav so let's target that so here I'll just type header nav now let's give it a maximum width of 1000 pixels and we will set the display to flex so that all the elements will be one next to the other so here we can see the logo is on the left and the unordered list is on the right and we also need to have the logo on the extreme left and uh, the ul on the extreme right so for that we can use uh, this property called justify content and we need to set it to space between and we'll also bring it to the center vertically so for that we have to type align items to the center and let's also give it a padding so I'll just type padding 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we will have a padding of 32 pixels now let's maximize this and uh, we need to bring this header to the center and everything else looks alright so here we have to type margin 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we have to type auto and now we can see that it is in the center alright now the next thing we will do is we will style this logo so here in the header we have this uh, division with the class of logo so let's select that so here I'll just type header logo and we'll set the font weight to 800 and let's set the color of the text to red and we'll also set the text transform to uppercase and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels All right now let's style this unordered list so let's type header ul 
Now we want to set all these elements one next to the other. So we have to set the display to flex. And let's also remove these bullets from here. So for that we'll just type list style and we'll set it to none. Now let's style the list items inside the UL. So let's type header UL li. And we'll just give it a margin of 0 for top and bottom. And for left and right we will have 24 pixels of margin. And now let's target the anchor tags inside the list items. So let's type header UL li a. And we'll set the text decoration to none to get rid of the underlines. And let's set the color of the text to dark gray. So I'll just type 222. And we'll set the font weight to 800. Now that's it with the default appearance of the sticky navbar. Now when we scroll down, we want to have a different appearance. Now we're going to change the background color to a dark color. And we'll also change the color of these menu items to a light color. So for that we will create a new class and we will add that class to this header whenever we scroll down. So here I'll just type header dot and we'll add a class called scrolling. Now make sure that you don't have any space between header and dot scrolling because we want both these classes to be in the element. So let's go over here to our HTML and here in the header I'll just type scrolling. Now we have added the class scrolling to the header. So let's style this. So we'll just set a background color of some dark color and I'll just type RGBA because we will also have a little bit of transparency. So I'll just type 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.9. And we'll also remove the padding when we scroll down. So I'll just type padding 0. And we need to set the color of the text to a light color. So let's type header dot scrolling. And here we can see we have ULLIA. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And let's set the color to a light color. So I'll just type EEE. -E -E. So that's it with the design when we scroll down. And we'll also add a transition over here in the header. So I'll just type transition. And we'll set it to all 500 milliseconds ease. Now when we add and remove this class scrolling, we will have a smooth transition. Alright, so now let's go ahead and remove this scrolling class from here in the header. And let's add and remove that using JavaScript. So when we scroll down, we will add the class. And when we scroll back up, we will remove the class. So we have already created this main.js file and we have also linked it over here in our HTML file. So here we have linked our main.js file. Now we have to target this uh, header. So here we can see we have this header with a class of sticky navbar. So let's target that in our JavaScript. So let's type const sticky navbar and we'll set it to document query selector and here we'll type header dot sticky navbar. Right now we have to check whether the user is scrolling down or not. So for that we can type document dot add event listener and here we can have different events but for now we need to have the scroll event so I'll just type scroll over here and here we need to have a function so I'll just create an arrow function and here we have to check whether the user has scrolled down. Now first of all let me show you a value in the console and we'll be able to understand it better. So I'll just type console.log and here I'll just type window.scrolly and let me show you what happens when we scroll down. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and I'll just bring it over here to the left and let's go to the console. All right now let's scroll down in our website and you can watch the values over here on the left side in the console. So let's scroll down and here we can see the value is being displayed. So this is the number of pixels that we have scrolled down. And when we scroll up, the value goes back to zero. So we'll look for this value in our JavaScript. And when we have the value of greater than, let's say, 36 pixels, we will add the scrolling class to the header. So let me just close this uh, console. And we'll also delete this line of code. All right now, let's add an if condition over here. So I'll just type if. And here I'll just type window.scrollY. And if it is greater than 36, so I'll just type 36 over here. So here we'll type sticky navbar dot class list dot add and here I'll just type scrolling and now let's add an else so I'll just type else over here and if the value is less than 36 then we need to remove this class so let me just copy this and paste it down here and instead of add we will type remove alright so now let's test it out so let's scroll down and here we can see that the scrolling class has been added and let's scroll back all the way to the top and now we can see that the scrolling class has been removed. So that's basically how you change the appearance of your sticky navbar when you scroll down. So that's basically it for this video and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can just go ahead and uh, check it out. 
So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.